Since taking office, we have been committed to our act plan, remaining accountable, clear, and transparent as we govern. In recent weeks, both members of the Little Rock Police Department and departmental leadership have called on the mayor's office to conduct an investigation stemming from three lawsuits filed against the chief of police and the city of Little Rock. Per our standard practice, we do not comment on or interfere with pending litigation. Because of that practice, we have no comment regarding the lawsuits. The facts relevant to those lawsuits will be adjudicated in a court of law. However, as the elected chief executive officer of this great city, and after extensive discussion with our city attorney, and in accordance with our act plan, I'm calling for an independent, third party, comprehensive review of the entire Little Rock Police Department's practices and procedures to determine what, if any, corrective action need to be taken. The scope of this review will cover the following. Personnel policies and procedures, handling of private and confidential information, and harassment and misconduct. The objective of this review is to ensure compliance with the best practices in policy, procedure, and protocol within our police department. This review will also reassure residents of the Little Rock Police Department's integrity. Understand that this review is not about one individual or one organization. It is an attempt to provide insight about any potential concerns with actions, behaviors, or decisions made. It will provide accountability and transparency for more effective policing and reliable governing. If you are a resident of Little Rock, you may agree with me that this is long overdue. While I won't cite all of the systemic issues that exist within the department, here are a few. Nepotism, de-escalation tactics, training and cultural competency, the internal affairs process, and abuse of authority. In the coming days, I will announce who will conduct this review. Even in the midst of this season of turbulence, we remain grateful for the daily sacrifices of our police officers. There are committed men and women who risk their lives every day to serve the residents of Little Rock. I am deeply appreciative and hopeful that this review shines a light on the hard work they do every day. Finally, I'm optimistic that this review will foster a more unified police department to create a safer Little Rock. Thank you so much and I appreciate you.